Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this crochet headphones cover. As you can see, my headphones are starting to show some signs of wear and tear. It's starting to become discolored and it's peeling. Right? I'm going to have to clean that up and sanitize before I put on the crochet covers. The materials I'm going to use are this pink yarn, this metallic glittery thread, some snap-ons, a thread and needle, your crochet hook, and your scissors. Alright, let's get started. Okay, for round one, I'm going to make a magic circle. Alright, so as I said before, there are many ways to make a magic circle. And for me, this is the most convenient. Okay, I'm gonna chain three, and this is gonna count as your first double crochet among 12. Okay, you're gonna make 11 double crochets. All right. So, a total of 12 double crochets in the magic circle. Twelve double crochets in that magic circle. All right, so count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, I have twelve double crochets. Now I'm gonna make one extra double crochet inside that magic circle. All right, and instead of connecting to the first to the third chain of that first double crochet, I connected to the second double crochet. All right, this is so that there is no gap. Okay, and now I'm gonna tighten that magic circle. Okay, and this concludes the first round. Okay, let's go to round two. I'm gonna chain three. One, two, three, and then I'm gonna make one more double crochet in that same stitch. Okay, make one double crochet in the same stitch as that first double crochet. Alright, so now I have two double crochets in the first stitch. So in this round, you're going to make two double crochets for every stitch. Okay. Two double crochets for every stitch. That's the first one. And second one. Okay, so there you can see. Two double crochets in every stitch of this round. So that will be a total of 24 double crochets. Okay, let's just speed that up. Okay, I'm gonna meet you at the end of this round. Okay. 
Okay, now I have 24 double crochets. I'm making sure it's 24, all right. And because I don't want to have a gap over there, I'm gonna make one more double crochet in the last stitch and connect to the second, okay, to the second double crochet at the start of this round. And that completes round two. Okay, for round three, right? For round three, we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and in this round, we're gonna make two double crochets in the next stitch. Two double crochets. Okay, that's first and this is the second one. So you have one double crochet and two double crochet on the next stitch. Now we make one double crochet on the next stitch and two double crochet on the next stitch. So you can see our pattern for this round is one, two, one, two. Okay, so one, two, one, two, one. Okay, on the next stitch, you're gonna make two double crochets. And just continue with this pattern. For the rest of the stitches in this round. Okay, so remember one, two, one, two. All right, I'm gonna meet you. I'm just gonna speed this up and meet you at the end of this round. Right, we're almost done. Okay. And we reach the last stitch. Right. I think you're gonna have 36 double crochets for this round. Okay, but no matter if you end with one stitch or two stitches, okay, make one more. Alright, so that you can connect to the second double crochet at the start of this round. All right, that is to avoid having a gap there in the connection. Okay, I like to do that so there's no space or a gap in between the connections. All right, so if for this round, I think it's enough to cover the ear part of the headphone. Okay, so this time we need to decrease for round four. Okay, chain three. chain three but okay we're gonna decrease so remove that last stitch okay and start a new double crochet in the next round okay yarn over pull through so that you finish the first double crochet and the second double crochet together Okay, let's do that again. Start one double crochet. Don't finish it. Okay, start a new double crochet in the next stitch. And this time finish both stitches. Okay, this is going to decrease the size of the next round so that it can cover 
the circle part of that ear part of the headphone all right so it's two double crochet together Let's do that again. Okay, one double crochet, don't finish it. Another double crochet in the next stitch and finish it together. So this is double crochet together. Okay, using two stitches. Okay, if that makes sense at all. Alright, DC together. Alright, two DC together. Okay, now you can see it's starting to curve okay because it's in this round we're supposed to decrease the size of our circle so that it can fit snugly in the ear part of the headset okay i'm gonna speed this up right and i'm just gonna meet you at the end of this round Right, we're almost finished with this round. We're reaching the end. Okay, a few more stitches. Okay, and this is the last, the last two. DC together. Okay. And I'm gonna make one more double crochet so there's no gap in between and connect to the second double crochet of this round. And that concludes round four. And you have that shape. Okay, you can see. Alright, so for, for some of you, okay, you can use it to fit Try to measure against your headphone. Okay, if that's okay with you, then you can end in this round. But I'm gonna do two more rounds of single crochet because I want my cover to fit snugly okay, in my headphones. So in this round, I'm just gonna do one single crochet for every stitch. One single crochet. Alright, for every stitch, okay, so that it will have a clean, finished look. Alright, let me just speed that up, and I'm gonna meet you okay, at the end of this round. Okay, we reached the end. Okay, this time I'm not gonna put an extra and just connect to the first single crochet of this round. Okay, so there. It's starting to look nice. Okay, but I want to add one more single crochet round. Okay, it's up to you. You can end here. Okay, but I really want that finished look and that snug fit. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more round of single crochets for every stitch of this round.
Okay, we're about to end. This is the last stitch. Okay, and just connect to the first single crochet of this round. All right, and cut that yarn. This concludes round six okay, of our cover for the ear part of that headset. Okay, this is the shape that I was going for. It fits snugly on my headset. And this is, as you can see, okay, I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna have to make one more for the other side. Alright, now I have two. Okay, you can see the glitters or that glittery thread that I put but in person it's very beautiful okay now we have to make the cover for the top part of the headset all right and to start that we're gonna make a slip stitch and chain 12 okay chain 12 this to measure okay measure it against your headphone okay, so for me 12 is okay. okay but for you put it against your headphone and make sure it goes all the way around okay in the second chain from the hook right. make one single crochet You make one single crochet in every stitch So basically, you're just gonna have to keep okay, making single crochets. I turned it over for round three and make one single crochet in the first stitch and in every stitch of this row. Right. One single crochet in every stitch. Okay, make sure not to miss the first and the last stitches okay count your stitches to make sure that you're having the same count for every row all right okay and i'm gonna keep doing this until i reach the length that i want or that i need for my headphones all right so now i reach this length Okay, and then I'm going to take my headphones and measure it against it. Alright, I'm going to check if it covers that part that I want covered. Okay, so all you need to do is do this. Okay, so it should be just enough to cover. Okay, that part all right so now i want a clean finished look so i'm gonna single crochet all around all right so in in your case if you think you don't need to do this you can skip this round and proceed with the next part which is the sewing of the snaps or the snap on buttons Okay, but for me, I want a clean, finished look. I want to make single crochets all around. Okay. Also, I want to have a place to sew on the snaps. Alright, 
So you can see my single crochets. Alright, so just do this all around. the end of this side Let me just speed that up and I'm going to meet you again at the end of this part. Alright, we're almost at the end and we reach the last stitch. Okay, that's the last single crochet for this round. Uh, for this round, yes. Okay, and you can see that it has a clean finished look that I always want in all my projects, no matter how small or big. Okay, the part three, the next part is the sewing of the snap on buttons okay so that we can keep it keep this cover in place all right once more i'm gonna measure it against my headphones all right make sure it goes all the way around with some space for me to sew on the snaps all right so i can see that it fits just right all right now i'm gonna so on these snaps, you're gonna need the same color thread and of course a needle. So as you can see the snap buttons has two parts. Okay, make sure you're sewing the parts correctly. This is how it looks when you put on the top part. Okay, with the snap buttons sewn in place. Okay, I'm really happy how it turned out. It's a bit thick, okay, so it might cause your headphones to go up a bit, but that's okay. All right. So I'm going to show you how those snap-ons work. Alright, so you have it there. Okay. It's very easy to sew it on. Okay, and it's really, it really holds this piece of crochet cloth in place, a crochet piece in place. Okay. As you can see, I made two 
All right, one pink and one blue. All right, it really makes a lot of difference in changing the look of your headphones, especially if you have really worn out headphones. I've been using these headphones for almost two years now. Okay, it still works perfectly fine, so I don't see any point in throwing it away. If you have headphones that are still fully functional and you don't want to throw it away, okay, you can make this crochet headphones cover and make your headphones look brand new again. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you find this video helpful at all, please leave me a comment. Or share or subscribe to my channel it will really help me a lot in making more videos like this bye thanks guys bye